Would you ride in a kit car minivan that only had one door? I sure would. Welcome to Corey Turner Talks Cars, and we're going to talk about the one-of-a-kind, the amazing Brew Baker box. But first, let's talk about today's sponsor. So you know somebody that's having a birthday, an anniversary, a graduation, something that you need to celebrate, but you want to go big and you don't know how? Well, then you contact Yard Card Queen of Roanoke, and these are the people that come out in the middle of the night and put up these amazing yard displays. So when that person wakes up, they're greeted with a celebration in their front yard, and it's all because of you. So if you're wanting to do something special, something big, something super cool, something you've been jealous of when you've seen it in other people's yards, then you need to contact Yard Card Queen of Roanoke. So if you're in Roanoke, Texas, they're the ones to call. Curtis Brubaker had an idea for a kit car, and personally I'd classify it as a kit van, maybe even the world's first minivan, which I'm sure would be highly debated. But anyway, Curtis had an idea for a van type vehicle that would be designed to fit on a Volkswagen Beetle chassis. Now, there are many kit cars that have been designed to fit on the very flexible Beetle platform, but Curtis Brubaker wanted to take it to the next level. And actually, he didn't have a lot of choices since because this was 1972, and there weren't a lot of used 1972 Beetles to be had on the cheap. So he went straight to Volkswagen and offered a partnership to which Volkswagen said, yeah, this is exactly what we've been praying for. Where have you been our whole life? Curtis said, sweet, just send me a buttload of stripped down Beetle chassis and we're a match made in heaven. Now, that's not exactly how it went. Actually, I think the conversation went more along the lines of this. Uh, Volkswagen said, dead air. <laughs> See, Volkswagen already had the Volkswagen bus, which is where Curtis Brubaker actually got the idea from. So they weren't exactly jumping up and down to create competition. I don't think they really considered the Brubaker box competition, but you know what I'm saying. So undeterred, Curtis decided to press on with his awesome little car van box creation but it needed a name. Now, Curtis Brubaker drew inspiration from the zany little car shape and christened it the Brubaker Box. Yeah, this was 1972, the decade of the bell-bottom pants and the pet rock, so the need to be creatively named things wasn't invented just yet. So <laughs> Curtis set out to build the Brubaker Box. He even got some investors to back him up, and he got started. Now, the problem, he ran into quickly, which is the same problem most startup run into, especially car companies, is money. With Brubaker having to uh, buy fully assembled Volkswagen Beetles and then strip them down, see the profit margins were pretty tight. So even after selling off of the parts he removed, he just couldn't make the little box profitable and eventually it went bankrupt and he went bankrupt. Sadly, only few of the bizarre Brubaker boxes were ever produced. And it really is a shame because it's a cool 1970s kit car. Now, technically the original Brubaker box is a production car and it's not a kit car. But after building only three copies and going bankrupt, the investors tried to keep the dream alive with the most successful being a guy named Mike Hansen's. He had Auto Mecca who they made the bodies and sold them as kits. So, so I take that back. Technically, I'm going to call it a kit car. Now, Curtis Brutebaker, the, the creator, he designed planes for Learjet. He developed car technologies for General Motors. He even had a hand in the development of the 8-track cassette player and tons of other stuff. So he took a trip down to Newport Beach, and after seeing the surfer culture and the large number of VW buses that were part of that culture, he decided there was definitely a market for something that would appeal more to kids. So he built a prototype, and they debuted it at the LA Auto Show and they were blown away by the response. There were people already there ready to put down cash to buy one of these bad boys. They had advertised the MSRP as $3,995. That got you one door, real wood bumpers, a couch in the back, a frunk, which is like a trunk in the front, which you access from the front, and tons of charm and mystique. And it should have been a success. But like many of the dreamers we said, it just wasn't meant to be. Now, there are rumors that the Brubaker box is going to make a comeback. And honestly, I hope it does. I would love to see it in true kit car 
form. Now, have you seen one of these? Have you heard of one of these? Have you been in one of these? Drop me a comment and let me know. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Leave me a comment and share. And let's talk about cars tomorrow.